alaikum, dear viewers, and welcome to the Learn Arabic show. Um, so, right in our previous session, we had been discussing about the accusative cases. We looked at maf'oolu um, al-mutlaq. We looked at maf'oolu li ajali. We looked at hal. We looked at maf'oolu bihi, maf'oolu fihi, maf'oolu lahu. Right? I hope you remember all those accusative cases. So today we'll be continuing with other accusative cases. Of course, we have 13 of these accusative cases. So today we'll be continuing with, we have here is Al-Mustathna Bi'illa. Don't let the name freak you out. It is not very hard. So we have Al-Mustathna Bi'illa. Right, so what do I mean by Al-Mustathna and what do I mean by Illa? Right? Um, so Mustathna Bi'illa, Mustathna means something that is an exception. Okay? Okay, something that is an exception. We'll be looking at examples so you will understand better. Bi'illa meaning with exception of so and so and so. Okay? With an, with an exception of. Right? So we'll be looking at examples and of course this is also one of the cases where you will find either a fatha or fathatain. So our example we have here is we have ja al ja al ja al asdiqa'u illa aliya Okay, Jaa al asdiqa'u illa aliya. Okay, now Jaa meaning came. Okay, so we have many meanings of came. We saw Aqbala. Remember when we looked at the example Aqbala al waladu bakiyan, the boy came crying. So we also have Jaa, we also have Hadara, many meanings of the word came. So we have Jaa al asdiqa'u. Asdiqa meaning friends. Okay? Friends. Now, this, of course, falls under the category of Jamar al Mukassar. That is the broken plural. If you remember all those patterns that I had given you, of Ila'u. It falls under the pattern of Jamar al Mukassar, of Ila'u, if you remember. Therefore, this is not a Jamar al Salim. This is a. This is a. Jamara Mukassar. Okay, if you remember the broken plural. Illa Ali. Except or with exception of Ali. Right? So friends came. All the friends came. Everyone was invited. All the friends came except for. Ali. So Ali is the exceptional. Okay, he is the only one, exception of him, only he did not attend, right? So because he is the exception, Illa Ali. Okay, so this here will carry accusative sign. Why? Because Ali is the exceptional. All the friends went except for Ali. So because he is the exception, he will carry a Fatha illa Ali except Ali, right? With exception of Ali, right? Um, next example. Qara'atul kitaba. Qara'atul kitaba. Illa safhatayn.
Okay? قرأت الكتابة إلا صفحتين. I read the book except for two pages. You know, you have your exam. There is so much to read. So you read the whole book except for two pages. إلا صفحتين. So قرأت is past tense, meaning I read. So this is past tense. But what did I read? قرأت what? ما قرأت. What did you... Okay, what did I read? Okay, so I read the book. So the book here is the object. I read the book. Book is the object. So book here is maf'ulu bihi. So this is my maf'ulu bihi. Why is it maf'ulu bihi? Because the action is being done on the book. So this is the object. This is my maf'ulu bihi. The accusative, the very first accusative case we had done. So this why to also carry a fatha. But I read the whole book except for illa safhatain, two pages. So two pages is exceptional. Okay, so this is my exception. I did not read two pages. Okay, now here this is exception. It is supposed to carry a fatha. But you notice it carries a kasra. Why doesn't it carry a fatha? Why does it carry a kasra? Because this is dual. Why? Why? Why kasra? Because, because of dual. So when we have two, it, it's talking about two pages, dual, meaning two. Right? So because it's dual, two pages, that's why we have kasra instead of having a fatha. If it was one page, then we would have a fatha. But because it's dual, two pages, therefore we have a kasra because of the addition. Whenever you find dual, meaning addition of a ya and noon sakin at the end. Right? So I read the book except for two pages. Next example, halaltu, so you see you're getting to learn more vocabulary, halaltu masaila, halaltu masaila al-hisab, Illa So Halaltu Masa ila al hisaba illa masala. I solved all the accounts problem. You know those people dealing with accounts? I solved all the accounts problems except for one. Okay, Halaltu. Past tense, meaning I solved, right? Halaltu masail al hisab, meaning account account problems. Now you notice masail al hisab. What masail? What problem? Problem of accounts. So you notice that this is problem of Accounts. So here we have the rule of mudaf and mudaf ilay, the possession and the possessor. So who's the possession? The possession is account. The possessor is the problem. Um, the problem. Okay, what problem? Uh, the problem of accounting, right? So this is mudaf and mudaf ilay. Okay. But the thing here is this is supposed to be in the former sense when we look at mudaf and when we look at mudaf ilay it has to be masailu okay if you read more about mudaf mudaf ilay it has to be masailu al hisabi masailu it has to be masailu al hisabi not masailal hisabi 
in the actual sense. If you just bring out these two words out of the whole sentence in the former sense because it is mudaf, mudaf ilay, possession and the possessor, it has uh, the possessor and possession, it has to be masailul hisabi. Okay? So it has to be a dhamma. But here we find that this is this is a fatha. Now, why is it a fatha? Why isn't it a dhamma? This is because this acts more like the object of the sentence. It acts more like maf'ulu bihi. So, because this is maf'ulu, because in the context of the sentence, it acts as maf'ulu. It acts as maf'ulu bihi in the context of the sentence. That's why we have fatha instead of dhamma. But if I just remove from the whole sentence, if I just say problem of accounts, only if I want to say problem of accounts, I will say masailul hisabi. But if I bring it in a whole sentence using a verb, because of the fact this is preceded by a verb, that is why the masail becomes maf'ulu bihi. It is something that has been acted upon, right? The problem of accounts has been solved, meaning it has been acted upon. Because of that, it carries a fatha instead of dhamma. But note, if I only want to say problem of accounts, I will say masailul hisabi. If I want to say I solve the problem of accounts except one problem, then I will say halal to masa illal hisabi illa masalatan. So <clears throat> masalatan is my exception, just one problem, right? So this is my this is my exception. Okay, this is an exception, just one problem. Problem. This is mas'ala tan, which will carry accusative cases. So this is my mustathna bi illa. Uh, mas'ala tan, the problem is my mustathna bi illa. We'll um, look at another example. Now, so this was the example about mustathna bi illa. Now we will be looking at a few rules regarding the mustathna bi illa. Right? So I hope this is clear. Basically, it's just exception. All friends came except Alija al asdiqa'u illa aliyya. So that exception will carry um, what you call the accusative. Here, halal tu masail al hisabi illa mas'alatan. This is an exception. I solved all the accounting problems except for, with the exception of one problem. However, in the case of dual, like Safhartaini, two pages, it will obviously carry Kastra because of dual. So I hope Al Mustathna bi illa is clear. Now we will be looking at. Hukmul Mustafna Hukmul Mustafna bi Okay. So the first case we have in the Hukmul Mustafna, the rulings. Uh, where you will find accusative case in the Hukmul Mustathna bil Illa. The first case we have is when the sentence sentence is positive, okay, or or Mustathna is repeated. The mustathna, mustathna, that is the exception, will have a fatha or fathatain. Right? So, when the sentence, the first ruling states, when the sentence is positive, 
or if the mustathna is repeated, mustathna meaning exception, the mustathna or the exception will carry a fatha or a fathatain. Now, what do I mean? When I say sentence is positive, I mean a yes sentence. Okay, this is happen. Okay, so a positive sentence that is the opposite of negation. Okay, it is all the opposite of negation, meaning that's what I mean by positive sentence, right? Okay, so the first example we have here is Athmaratil 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 Ashjaru Illa Shajaratan Okay, so Athmaratil Ashjaru Illa Shajaratan meaning all trees were fruitful except for one tree. All trees all trees, trees, ashjar, ashjar, broken plural, jamar al mukassar. So this is um, this is jamar al mukassar. I hope you remember, right? Jamar al mukassar, the broken plural, under the category of afal. Under the category of afal, we have ashjar. I hope you remember ashjar under the category of af'al, meaning many trees. Okay, so all trees were fruitful, meaning they bear, they bore fruits. Okay, so that is athmarat. Okay, to bear um, fruits, right? Fruitful, fruitful, or bear fruits, right? Now, you notice that in the past tense, when we were studying about past tense, all the past tense had a sukun, had a sukun at the end, right? So, for example, if I want to say, um, say she ate, okay, she ate. So, I will say akalat, right? Okay. Akalat, okay. But what if I want to say um, she ate the food? Okay, if I just want to say she ate, I would say akalat. But if I want to say she ate the food, I would say uh, ta'am, right? Ta'am is food, right? So can I say akalat, ta'am? Okay, here, because here, you notice, we have sakin, right? So, can I say akalat ta'am? Okay, akalat, then pronounce this sukun. So, here, you notice, we have a sakin here. We have a sakin here. So, how can you pronounce the two sakin? Akalat ta'am. It doesn't make sense because you can't even pronounce it. So, because of this, I will change this sakin to so this will be pronounced akalatit ta'am. That is pronounceable. Same here. Here I have athmarat. Athmaratil ashjar. Athmarat is supposed to be in the former sense. It's supposed to be ath, athmarat. Sakin. Okay. The next word we have ashjar. Al um okay so asmarat we have sukun here again we have sukun can you pronounce two sukuns no if i want to join them now because i want to join this sukun to this sukun this now here will change into kasra so, because I can't pronounce, I can't say Afmarat, 
I don't know how will you pronounce the next word if both of them have sukun and sukun. So in order to merge this sukun with this sukun, to merge both the sukuns, this changes into kasra. Now I can pronounce athmaratil ashjar. So if I have a word like this, athmarati, so you don't confuse, it is also a verb. It is also a verb. But the reason behind why it does not carry a sakin is because in order to merge the, this sakin with this sakin, to merge them so that you can pronounce it, so that you can converse, it changes into a kasra. Therefore, I have athmaratil ashjar illa shajaratan except for one tree. All trees were fruitful, are fruitful except for one tree. So this is the exception. Again, we have, we have an accusative case over here. Again, this is an exception. Now, the sentence. The sentence is positive. There is no negation. Do you find la, lam, laysa, ma? No, you do not find any word that denotes negation in the sentence, meaning the sentence is positive. So first of all, the first part, agree. The sentence is positive. Secondly, mustafna is repeated. Now, what do I mean by mustafna? What is the mustafna? The mustafna, the exception, is shajaratan, except for one tree. Now, that has been repeated how? We have ashjar illa shajaratan. So ashjar shajaratan, the mustathna is repeated. All trees were fruitful except for one tree. Therefore, this here will carry accusative sign. Right, so let's go to the next um, example. So that was the first ruling. Now we will go to the second example. We're still discussing the first ruling when the sentence is positive or if the mustathna is repeated. So the second example we have under the same ruling is farwa. I hope you remember what farwa means. If you look at Surah Al-Abasa, we have Yawma yafirru al-mar'u min akhi. Right? So now you, does that ring a bell? You remember what farwa means? Okay? So the army fled. Farwa means to flee. The army, um, it's junood. Uh, okay? The army fled. Okay, this is army. The army fled except for the leader. Illa al qaid. The whole army fled except for the leader. Okay, even if you notice in most of the battles in Islam, okay, only the Prophet and Imam Ali would not flee from the battlefield. Only the leaders would not flee from the battlefield. The rest of them would flee like cowards, right? So, the army fled except for the leader, okay? Illal qa'idah. Right, so what is the subject of the sentence? We are talking about the army. We are talking about the army. That is the subject of the sentence. So army will carry, will carry a dhamma. Army will carry a Dhamma sign, okay? Because we're talking about the subject, the doer. Illa al-qa'idah, except for one soldier. So this is exception. So this is my mustathna bi illa. It will carry accusative. So this is my mustathna. And of course, the sentence is positive. There is no sign of negation whatsoever. Now we will be looking at the second ruling. So the first ruling was when the sentence is positive, that is the opposite of negation and if mustathna is repeated. Of course, here we don't find mustathna being repeated, but the sentence is positive. So this is, of course, Junu, that is the ism of the, sub the subject. So obviously the ism, you know, it always carries a dhamma. And of course, um, 
the mustathna that is the exception will carry a fatha so the army fled except for the leader now under the same rule we have if the next rule we have under mustathna bi illa if the sentence is negative so it is permissible to carry a fatha so mustathna therefore mustathna will also carry fatha it is permissible even if the sentence is negative let's look at an example we have is lam So we have Lam Yaftah al Azharu illal ban Fazaja. Okay, so the flowers, the translation will be Al Azhar, you know, Zahra, Zahra, that's one flower. Azhar, Al Azhar, meaning many flowers it is also broken plural jama' al mukassar broken plural under the pattern of af'al okay so lam yaftah al azhar illa al banfazaja okay meaning that the flowers okay the flowers did not blossom except for one. Banfazaja is, is it's a type of a flower. You can go on looking, um, you can look up for it what type of flower it is. Okay, so lam yaftah. Lam denotes negation. Why the flowers did not blossom, right? So this denotes negation, meaning the sentence is negative. The flowers did not blossom. So, al-azhar is of course the subject. Therefore, it carries the dhamma because we are talking about the flowers here. Illa al banfasaja. So, this will carry a fatha. So, despite the fact that the sentence is negative, this will carry a fatha sign, right? Because this is an exception. This is my Mustathna. Okay. So, lam yaftah al azharu illa al banfazaja. The exception that is that one flower will carry a fatha. So, the flowers did not, did that did not factor. That is the lam that negates the whole sentence, making it negative. But despite the fact the sentence is negative, it is permissible to carry, it's permissible for the mustathna to carry a Fatha, right? Um, so we will look at um, one last example. So one last example we have Lam Lam Yanjal Mustahimuna Illa Ahmad. Okay, Lam Yanjal. Okay, Lam Yanjal Mustahimuna Illa Ahmad. Meaning, the lawyers did not succeed except for Ahmad. Okay, so what is the negation here? Negation, Lam. Meaning sentence is negative, did not, did not succeed. Mustahimuna, lawyers. Now, is this Jama' al-Salim or is it Jama' al-Mukassar? This is Jama' al-Salim, meaning it's sound plural. How do I know it is sound plural? The addition here is wow with a noon 
and fatha. Remember when we were doing about sound plural, broken plural, we said mu'allimun, mu'allimuna, muslimun, muslimuna, kafirun, kafiruna, mustahimun, mustahimuna, meaning lawyers. So this is sound plural which is called jamar as salim hope you remember okay so the lawyers did not succeed except for ahmed so who is the exception ahmed is the exception so ahmed is my mustathna and of course he's going to carry ahmed is going to carry a fatha why is he going to carry a fatha? Because he is exceptional. All the lawyers did not succeed. Okay? Lam yanjal mustahimuna. Illa ahmada. Because he is the only exception. He will carry a fatha. Despite the fact the sentence is not positive, the sentence is negative. Because we have lam in the sentence. So despite the fact that the sentence is negative, um, of course, the exception will carry a fatha. The mustafna will carry a fatha sign. And of course, we also have another case of, we have another case under the hukmul mustafna bi illa, which of course, um, where you find that the mustafna is hidden. But that case, inshallah, will be continuing in our next session. And of course, we also have, apart from that, we have one more accusative case to cover. But Due to lack of time, we cannot cover them today. So don't forget to tune in on our next session when, of course, we will be finishing off with the accusative cases.